Welcome to Deep Course and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 2565 that says subsequence with a minimum score. So yeah, here we are given two strings S and T and we are allowed to remove some character of the string T. Uh, so and in our, and our aim is to make a string T a subsequence of a string S. See, we need to make T a subsequence of S by removing some of some or no characters from string T. So yes, uh, while removing the characters, we will maintain one score. So a score of a string is zero if no characters are removed. See, if you don't remove any characters, then the score is zero. And otherwise, the if you remove the characters, then the score would be the rightmost index of the character remove minus the leftmost index of the character plus one. Okay, so this would be the score of the string. Correct. And yeah, we need to find minimum possible score to make T a subsequence of S. Okay. So yeah, a subsequence can be formed by deleting some of the characters without changing the position. Okay, without changing the relative position. We can delete the characters, but we can't change the position. Like as you can see here, ACE is a subsequence of this ABCD, but not AC. E has changed the position and that is not allowed in subsequence. So yeah, uh, this question is a bit hard uh, to understand uh, the uh, to understand and form the int intuition of how we will solve them. And also it's a bit hard for me to explain you guys. But yeah, I will try my best to explain uh, you in a simple manner. I will uh, try to under make you understand by taking various ca test cases. Then we'll try to build an in intuition and then move on to the approach with the coding. So yeah, make sure you watch the video till the end to gain complete understanding of this question and make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Okay, so as you so here you would see that you need to find minimum possible score. So there are a few ways to find minimum possible score. One is one can be DP that is recursive plus memorization or tabulation method. The second one would be a grading. Uh, so these methods are there. B but if you think of the, doing a DP, then yeah, you will get time limit accelerate as n square approach won't work here. Now, if you do a greedy, then I don't think that you won't be able to form any greedy solution here. Uh, what uh, whatever uh, means there is nothing like sorting or no other. Uh, heaps nothing will work here so yeah now what is remaining so the thing is when you uh, don't find any possible standard approach to solve in this type of question what you need to do is you just need to focus on test cases and try to understand okay so let's take a look at this first test case so here we have s a this string s and this is a string t now as you can you can see that this b and this a a they are the subsequence there. This is B. Here we have one A and here we have one A. Okay. So the only character we need to remove from T is this there. So uh, so the string becomes B A A and B A A is a subsequence of string S. So yeah, in order to remove there, what it would be the score would be one minus one plus one. So that would be one. Right. So we return one because that is the minimum score possible. Now let's take a look here. Here we have X, Y, Z in T and C, D in S. So as you guys can see that removing one, two, or all the characters, even after that, means uh, removing one or two characters, you, uh, you won't be formed any subsequence. You have to remove all the characters from this string T such that it becomes the empty string and it can be a subsequence. So yeah, here we remove all these three characters uh, and our answer would be two minus zero plus one. So it would be three. Now I have a few more examples to discuss uh, with you so that we can form some intuition. So yeah, see, we have here B, Z, A, X, A, and this is the string S. So uh, based on this, as you guys can see that we have B and one B here, right? We have one A here and one A here, right? And we have one A here, one A here. This Z and X are not there, okay? So in order to make T a subsequence of S, can we, can we do B, A, A? No, we can't do this here. We can only remove the means in order to remove Z and X, we also have to remove A. So the T, uh, T would be B A, only B A, not B A A. This won't work. Okay, first thing, this you can remove continuous elements, not by picking one one and elements. Okay, so this is one thing. So even you have like B A, B and A is there. So B A is a subsequence of S. And what would be our answer? Our score. Score here would be. Uh, see the index. So let me index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it would be 3 minus 1 plus 1. So it would be 3. Okay. So I hope you guys understood this that we can't remove one one characters. We have to remove all three characters 
even if the middle one is a correct character we can't remove we can we have to remove all this continuously now let's take a look at this example see here if is p is there, is there? no is there is there no if a is there in somewhere yeah a is matching is x is there no is a is there yeah but since x is not there so we have to remove complete this characters we have to delete all this and the t would be a only and a is a subsequence of s correct so our score here would be uh, 3 minus 0 plus 1 so it would be 4 we are removing 4 characters okay now let's take a look at this example a is there yes b is there yeah a again a is there yes x is there no y can't be a subsequence means we can't include it there can't be included in the subsequence a can be included we have one another a okay apart from these three apart from this a we have also one another a this can be also one valid a yeah so yes our t can be a b a a yes this is one possible this is the uh, longest possible t right and uh, we would remove these three characters so our score would be uh, see 0 1 2 3 4 5 so it would be 5 minus 3 plus 1 so it would be 3 our score here would be 3 we are removing these three characters okay so what you have understood see these are the see, here also what we are doing we are taking some characters from the front and some characters from the back here we are see here since we won't be able to uh, get any characters from the front so characters from front or the prefix are 0 and character from suffix is 1 here character from prefix is 3 and character from suffix is 1 so what we are doing we are finding prefix of t and suffix of t right suffix of t and what are they are and such that they are subsequence of s so i hope you guys understood this that we are trying to find longest prefix of t and longest suffix of t and that are subsequence of s and in between if there are some unwanted characters then we are simply removing it we are simply removing the unwanted middle characters and the remaining would be longest prefix longest suffix and in such a way that they are also subsequence of s correct so this way uh, by taking different examples that we understood that we are only finding the prefix and suffixes that are subsequence of s so and based on this intuition now we will approach the question i hope you guys understood that how we built uh, this intuition based on uh, taking different test cases here so yeah what we would do we would take a uh, take one dp array dp array and what we would do we would store suffix of team that is also subsequence of s suffix of t uh, that is that is subsequence of s okay now then what we would do uh, once we have done for the suffixes then we will try for prefix means uh, try to get longest prefix that is also subsequence of s okay and we, are, we will have take a help of this dp array this is dp array will store the index uh, that are matching see in subsequence what we are doing we are only trying to match the indexes this a is match x uh, as you can see here this a is match or not this a is match or not somewhere this b that are means that if there are matching characters or not that is that is that's how we are forming the subsequences and yeah using help of both these things we would compute the result so our result would be what uh, the right minus left plus one means this would be all the middle characters mid characters that are removed need to remove so this would this is our answer all the middle characters that we need that we need to remove is our answer so yeah i hope you guys understood the intuition and how we will approach this question so now let's move on to the coding part so initially what we have to do is uh, let's uh, first take something like size of n that is the s dot size and size of t that is t dot size now after this what we would take we would take one integer k that is uh, ns minus one now you might be wondering what is this k so k will keep track of the last match character in t from the right so it will keep track of the characters that is match from t from the right okay now we will also take one uh, dp at a vector int dp of size ns and we will initialize it to minus one yeah minus one means no care the characters are not found means there is no matching character so yeah now for uh, we will look from i equals to 
number from this end of this string ns minus 1 i should be greater than equal to 0 and n k should be also greater than equal to 0 and we will simply do i minus minus and here what we will do we will do that if s of i equals equals to t of k then in that case uh, sorry here k would be st uh, nt minus 1 it would represent the last character of the string t and if this is the case then what we will do we will simply do dp of k minus minus equals to i right instead of minus 1 we are storing the index of the matching character so this is done for the suffix part okay that means that uh, what we this dp will store dp will store uh, dp uh, sorry it would be a size of this string so dp will store all the characters of the string t that are matching in the string s so and it means if it is not minus one means there is some index i that means it is a matching character so with that help we will now compute uh, the prefix and the result part okay now let us take result equal to k plus one see uh, the k is the size of the string and what is the maximum possible answer it is the right minus left plus one that is the k minus zero plus one uh, so yeah this is the maximum possible result it is k minus zero plus plus one okay now now what we will do we will loop from i equals to zero and also j initialized to zero then i is less than number of ns that is number of characters in s and j is less than s t and then until the result is greater than zero we will do i plus plus see we here our task is to minimize this result minimum possible score so we need to minimize this result got it and yeah uh, once it becomes zero then we don't need to loop anywhere again correct now if s of i equal equals to t of j that means if we found some matching character then what we would do we would simply run loop now here we will write a for loop uh, to update k until it is match so while k is less than t dot size and dp of k is less than equal to i we are simply doing plus plus of k and yeah and in the end we will update result equals to minimum of result comma k minus uh, plus plus means pre-increment of g so uh, what is this see let me tell you so this is update updating k for each unmatched character until we find next matching character okay so here since we are just updating k until we find this until we find k such that dp of k is less than equal to i correct so this is just to calculate how many characters we need to remove from the middle so uh, so let's assume that here if uh, we are at uh, let's say this first character is match and initially we have stored all these suffixes with the index in our dprm so now our k would be here now we would find k until it is less than equal to i so that means the dp of k should be less than equal to i right this is what we are trying to do until dp of k is less than equal to i and uh, here dp of k will store what dp of k will store this index itself so yeah we will keep updating the k until it is less than equal to i initially i is this so we will update k to here okay because and we will take this as a part of prefix and again this take as a part of prefix then when we reach at this a see at this a we will make k till here because uh our dp of k should be less than equal to i right and but at, at the next point it would be minus one minus one minus one. and at this point our dp of k should be uh, should, is greater than i at this point dp of k is k is greater than i so that's why the loop stops and what we take we we minus this k minus j plus plus that means we are calculating how many characters to remove simple as it is so yeah i hope you guys understood this approach now let me try to submit this okay here one thing we forget is we have to write semicolon so that it doesn't execute these statements say this for loop is just to calculate how many characters we need to remove we don't need to execute this so yeah now let me try to again run this now as you guys can see that all the test cases are passed now let me try to submit this so guys as you can see that the code got accepted not talking about the time and space complexity the time complexity is big of n since we are just traversing the all the n characters and the space complexity is also big of n so yeah that's all for the time and space complexity so yeah i hope you guys understood the approach how we are solving is how we are building the intuition behind this and uh, yeah if you have still any doubts then do let me in the comment section make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you